morning everybody as we can see the uh, title is uh, tech for sustainability and sustainability for cities uh, there is a, a quote uh, which i am taking from a gentleman who was responsible for a lot of pollution in this world and making money and profit out of it and he stated back in way back when they formed the opec that the stone age didn't end due to the lack of stones it ended due to technological advancement and he was none other than sheikh zaki yamani who was the founder of opec and uh, in defense of nature man has to be defended against himself since man is his greatest enemy the enemy is not another country but our own inner desires our vanity you will be surprised how much defense r and d contributes to our well being and safety in our day to day activities that's technology for you and technology interplays in our daily lives if you are conscious of it we aren't the owners of this planet but mere tenants who can be evicted without a moment's notice though luckily we have been served one a notice in the form of a pandemic which to my mind will not be the last one and not the only form of eviction climate change is a far bigger and looming threat we have to view this as an inevitability and the only way we can try and avert the ensuing devastation of such an oncoming or on such coming events is by planning and changing our lifestyle economic systems and consumption patterns buying insurance so as to say in the event of such disasters by and large one has observed that if you take an insurance or plan for a downside in life one averts the worst if not being totally safe from unforeseen events in life i go on to say that there's an expression waste not want not and it's time that we put crude back into the ground and bury it before mankind is buried in its plastic garbage crude is man is mankind's frankenstein out from the pandora's box i've coined an expression uh, which uh, if uh, you can put that on the screen please it's called e3 and e3 is an interlocking symbol of the three elements of energy ecology and environment which will replace or should replace big e consumption driven growth of economy all these years just consuming consuming like the like there is no tomorrow and frankly there will be no tomorrow if we go on consuming in this fashion and focusing on a real need based demand waste free and including the cost of energy and ecology and environment into our business costing we all have seen last year that the indian economy got hit by a minus 36% which is it should have been growing by 8% so all revenues are calculated at plus 8% growth but in fact the degrowth was by about 26% so if you add 26 and 8 is 34% minus so in one fell swoop around 5 to 6 years of growth and revenue collection disappeared overnight now supposing we plan this in the system and say that our actions our production methods are going to cost us this much then how do we take care of the environment and like my friend here yesterday told me about the uh, mercedes benz building in now that you take the steel if you buy the steel you have to rebuy it and make sure that you own the waste and bring it back into the system that's the way we have to go forward this logo is basically i coined it from the base that h2o c3po rdt r2d2 i think everybody knows rtd2 and c3po and i just felt that e, e, if if e3 is there it's a kind of a third eye and 
we know in the spiritual connotation what the third eye means. If the third eye opens outward, it means destruction. And if the third eye open inward, then it means a regeneration and a rebirth and an increase in knowledge. So that's what 3E stands for. And lastly, I wish to say that I personally feel that something like which is coming in, in today's session, which is mobility, e-mobility and maybe drone mobility, it's the way forward. Drone mobility is the way forward. And I personally feel that waste should be viewed from a government level where we need to enforce it and make people responsible or paying a certain penalty for, throw, for throwing waste because why should you have bought it first and if you did buy it, why are you wasting it? So, with that, I personally feel that I'm happy that uh, this uh, session we are having on sustainability and technology. And from the Indo-American Chamber of Commerce, I wish to announce that any startups that need uh, assistance with American entities or need promotion, uh, we also would be participating in the Gujarat, Vibrant Gujarat uh, Summit this year. We've been invited to do so. People can come on board. Following that, uh, we will be taking a delegation to the U.S. in the month of, in the end of June, where we can pair such entities and with American companies who can invest itself in the U.S. and bring them to fruition out there and with those resources come back to India as well. And so lastly, but not the least, as a follow up of Gujarat and this, we will be having a global convention in Banaras later next year, uh, which will again focus on the environment and 3E. Thank you very much.